don't we all just want to see like someone who is dead in their trespasses and sins? And don't we want to watch as God's spirit enters that person and just has them come alive where there's just like a joy, a life where we're going, no way, look at him, look at her. Like that, that's just, isn't that like the greatest joy when you see that happen right before your eyes? That's what we're all after, right? The spirit of God came in and transformed a person to where it's shocking, just as shocking as seeing a dead body come to life. I mean, don't we all want to see, I mean, can you imagine a de- going to a funeral and watching a, a body rise from the grave? You'll never forget that, <laughs> it, right? Right? For those who have seen it, you know, it's crazy, huh? But, uh, but it's that picture that God gives to those who are dead in their trespasses where you're just shocked, like, there's no way that could have happened to her. It's supernatural, it's unexplainable. And when, when people see that, it's, it's shocking. It's, it's like what Paul says about the Thessalonian church, right? When, when he says in, uh, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4, he says, uh, where am I? Okay, here it is. We know, brothers loved by God, that he has chosen you. Because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full power and in the Holy Spirit, full conviction, you know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit. So you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report to us the kind of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. Yeah, Paul says to this church, man, I don't even have to talk about your faith because everyone saw, they saw you were dead, you're following these us, they saw that change. And he goes, I don't even have to tell people about you. You guys are preaching it yourself. Your message is known all throughout Macedonia. Everyone's hearing about you. I don't have to beg you to share the gospel. Man, you've just come alive. Everyone's heard about, I mean, isn't that what we're after? It's like, I want to see that happen. I want to see that happen. 